What's up guys? It's your girl Riva and I'm back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Riva. It's very nice to meet you. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And as I always say, make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. It does not matter how you feel about this video. We all want to talk about it. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. And we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the video. Should a woman's money and education matter to men? Yes. Yes. Why? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know we just started, but first of all, that was a quick answer. That was a very, very quick answer. You know, unanimous decision. Yes. You know, so so I'm, I'm really looking forward to the elaboration on this on this uh, question. Ashley, go first. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, both look stoned. <laughs> like, no, but definitely, it just yes, does. So, I think yeah. more it so education does. than money because, like, education, like, okay, I don't want to downplay boys, but usually girls, like, they're they're more educated. Like, they're more book smart really? than a guy would be book smart. Really? Not to be sounding like, what would that sound though? Sexist, like, like, sexist yeah. or anything, yes. or like it's true. Like usually, like a guy would come to their partner and be like, "All right, what do you think about this?" They always come to them for like ideas and stuff mm. like that when it comes to like whatever, whatever case it is. Mm. Just as if they were go to their mom, like they always go to their mom first. My mom was an educator. I still go to her, but I, okay, she wasn't but it's just like, more you know? so like I don't know. I feel like they would look more so as their education. I, I, I think I think men go to their um, spouse or I think even their mom because I think men just rely on people that are around them that they trust. They already know what kind of decision that they make, but sometimes they just like to bounce ideas off of you just to kind of see like what you feel about a situation, not necessarily because they think you're smarter or wiser or you're going to tell them a better decision because how many times can a man ask you something and you say this and he's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to do this. Like, he's giving you a million reasons why he's going to do this, even though he asked you the uh, the question, you told him this, just to see if how he's thinking or the way that he's, you know, going to do something makes sense. It's not really to ask you because he thinks you're over him. And I, I'm going to use, I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't mean to stop the video so early um, or so many times, but which leads me to say that this is a problem that a lot of our women have. You know, this arrogance because, you know, so her man will come and ask her a question and he might do uh, that thing that he already knew that he was going to do. He just asked her for his own reassurance. And now she feels like, oh, I'm smarter than him because I'm the one who had to tell him. So now in the relationship, she finds herself always trying to tell him something to do just because he asked her for some advice. Now, all of a sudden, she's throwing all of this unsolicited advice at him just because he asked her to answer to, to answer one question. Niggas don't care. I mean, you I don't I, care. I mean, so if you you would talk to a girl that had no education at all, I mean, no, not that high not, school. Not, not I wouldn't. No, that could be because because you could do it's other mean. ways. Yo, I, the thing yeah. is, y'all talk school about school doesn't define you. It let's be that. let's be very clear. I understand that. 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 Women talk about settling all the time, right? They're okay. not going to settle. Men have historically been settling for years, like. Mind you, years since the beginning of the time, like we always had to Girls quote unquote settle. settle. Yeah, that in, is in true. In the same term that y'all y'all no, consider settling, we had to settle. Like you know what I mean? Because that the money and education don't matter to us. Like, you and, know what I'm and saying? mind you, when y'all get all this money and, and all this education, how does it benefit the man? You don't y'all don't that give us much money? money. What, what are we getting out of that? What are we? That's getting? not true. That's true. What? I don't know who you been talking to. <laughs> He's looking. Wait, wait, wait. Because the person all the way at the corner is like, what, what, what? Like he's so like. What did I say wrong? Because it's true, you know? what He's, like, looking around, like, what happened? What, what, what? <laughs> he's, like, baffled. Like, what are you talking about that that's not true? Of course that's not true because you're going to take your money and your money is your money. You'll be selfish with your money, but you still want to spend his, even if you guys are both making the same amount. Let's be honest. <sighs> the infamous lie. That's very no, 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 no. should definitely yeah. cater to you. That's number one. I feel like women are known to be catered. Yeah, to. we're like, nurturing. You should yeah. Never, like, girl, women should definitely be catering. Yes. Girls catering, are like catering not every girl like leeches off of niggas. Like, but yeah, they talking about the paper though. They're not talking about catering, hugging him, and you know, making him some food. They talking about the money. The money that you bring into the household usually is usually would be for a lot of these modern women for themselves. 
and his money is for everybody. <laughs> That's what they're talking about. Listen to me, catering and nurturing don't have to do with education or money. Right. Mm. So you want you should, but you should be attracted to somebody that that they own, like that can hold no, their own. When y'all get your own, you should. That's what she said. You should be attracted to somebody that has their own. But you're a woman. So how can you tell a man what he should or should not deem important in a relationship or should or should should not be attracted to within a relationship? Because you're a woman, so you're speaking from your point of view. But men are literally telling you that it doesn't matter, but it should. Not putting that in the home. As ah, ever, shall I say? Because you're telling the with the wrong girls. Cause, cause, no, because most women, even if you see it, don't act like y'all don't see when females saying my bag is my bag. And, and, and yeah, there uh, are people like man, that. A man should be paying really like, well, I've been in a relationship yeah. where it's been 50 50. I've never been like, well, I mean, like, maybe in it don't college, be, it don't have to be 50 I've been 50 the either. provider, and then like oh, yeah. somebody's leeching off of me or mm. something like that. Like, I've always it's, held but my even own. even if a man taking care of a female, I don't consider that leeching. I'm just saying when women have the opportunity to make money. But you, she said that when she was in college, she was the breadwinner, so he was leeching off of her. So so if he's depending on you in a certain situation, he's a leech. But if you're depending on him, you're not a leech. He's he's just doing what he's supposed to do. That shows blatantly the dynamics. Dave, it money. is leeching they, because at the they, end of the day, uh, they should still hold their own. What are you going to do when your man leaves you? Okay, so she's saying that it's leeching either way. So she's saying that as a... As a woman, if a man is providing for you, it's leeching. And as a woman, if you provide for a man, he's leeching. So she did. She did say that. That's that's the same. Okay. Money that you saved, that you wasn't spending anything on, you got you got your your plan B already stored up because you wasn't putting in when he was paying all the bills. You know, paying your car note, handling everything else, you stacking up. Okay. And then when it's time to separate. That money you that you up, you not you not coming back to me saying, "Hey, yo, well, <laughs> I saved up fifty k. Take your ten. It's the shoulders for me. Well, I saved up fifty k. You know what I'm saying? Got, got, I, say I get that point. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but I like I feel like a man is supposed to provide though. Like I feel like and, and, that's and that, what that's what you are. You're supposed to be my provider. You're my you're the man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Paying the bill. And I'm home taking care of. But with that money, taking care of that money, that I wouldn't should provide. No, yeah, you shouldn't. Either. I will still I like, I, like I said, you should want a woman that has her own. So I should be going out making my own money, coming inside. Yes, I should. And what are you going to do with like, your money? I'm, I'm. It's not I'm our taking money. Taking care of that crib, though. Like you're paying that bill, but I'm taking care of that crib. So like that food and stuff that's coming on the table, that's not cheap. Mm-hmm. The clothes going on well, my back, your food. kids back. We're You're back the, to we're paying for the food. No, that's we're should, for the that's what's really coming from. No, no. she that, said okay. So she's saying that if a woman is is um you know making her making money and the man is making money too, yeah, he's gonna take care of like the home, the you know the basic, all the necessities that they require to live. He's gonna take care of that, but she's gonna make sure that like when it comes to you know like outside expenses, food, clothing. Um, you know, entertainment, like she's going to make sure that that comes from her pocket that way that she's providing some some sort of, um, you know, financial help within the home. She, she was would, coming from she me, said, though. Yeah, she said, you're like, pay, she would cover everything else and let the man provide, like, as far as, like, you're a provider. The, the house. I, I look, and I feel like regardless if that... Let me know what you guys think about what she just said in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about what she's saying about what, as a woman you know, that's assisting, she's going to take care of the uh, entertainment costs, the, you know, the clothing, the food, and then he should take care of everything else. Let me know what you guys think about what she just said in the comment section down below. Whatever the the situation is, if I'm providing, cool. Mm -hmm. There's no problem with that part, right? But I feel like the money that you are saving, we either need to talk about it together and invest in something. Mm -hmm. Like, that can't just be your bread. You get what I'm saying? Because you saving that money off the count of me being responsible for everything. And right. I don't have a problem with okay. being responsible, but when it's time, when it when it's call it quits time, I don't get none of that back, which isn't a problem. But if y'all saying y'all educated and y'all putting into this, this shit, whatever percentage okay. y'all putting in, right. where's the get back? There's other this ways why, where, where... What, pooms? Because that's, no. that's, that's, that's the only get back that's getting. not everything. That's like, what all women be trying to offer most of the time. completely hold a man. Like, that's that's what we've been saying. Not, 
We've been screaming this. Not. Like, like, other thoughts. There's other no, things. That, that there's true. other that's things. True. Oh, there's that's other true. things like, that sex a woman can bring to the table. Like, like what? There's so why every time, why every time a man asks y'all what y'all bring to the table, you always be stuck. I'm not stuck. Like I know. I'm not, I'm I am the table. I, 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 say, I, I am the table. table. Like, like what I have Niggas everything going, going that, for myself. Bro. Like what can you <laughs> exactly. do for me? You have everything can... for yourself. <sighs> she said, um, "I'm not stuck. I know what I bring to the table, and it's more than 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 uh, intimacy." And he was like, he made a joke. Well, most women be saying, I am the table. She says, I am the table because every I have everything going for myself. What can you provide for me? So she still didn't answer the question. Benefit everything going us. for myself, it can still benefit my man. Like, I have no problem, like, helping my man out. Like, I'll pick up off the slack. Like, I don't have a problem doing that. Like, if he's providing, he's showing me that he can be the man for me, I have no problem picking up wherever he slacks. It shouldn't be an issue. Most men a relationship is 50-50. Well, it's not 70-50. I think like, every, like, everything just depends on the relationship. Yeah, it, it, really it depends on the depends dynamic, on dynamic you have uh, with your partner. Like, if like it's everyone's like that, relationship is different. It's really different. If it's like, a woman could be a bread maker in a relationship and then in another relationship, then it is the bread maker. Like, everything is going to all change. Everything. Yeah. It really depends. I think, really I think depends. the reason men don't value education and money in women is because... Women who tend to have, who tend to be. Educated. I think that when when um when women refer to men as the N word, I think it shows um how they esteem them, value them, and respect them. Um, and I know like that might sound very very traditional and like you know because I understand like you know younger people. Like that's just how they talk. Like they just think that there's nothing wrong with it. Like yeah, like that's just what that's just what we call them. But I think that if you do call your man, okay, your spouse, your boyfriend, the N word, I think that shows the value that you put on him, and not only him, but that you put on yourself uh, by the limitations of your vocabulary. They just said that women are so much more intelligent than men, and that women are so smarter and so uh, you know, so better educated. But at the end of the day, when you're referring to your man, you have to call him the N-word and you can't call him anything else. I think that shows the limits of your education and the limit of your vocabulary. Um, And also, again, like I said, it's a respect thing. What you call somebody, it matters because that's the same. When when people say like, oh, men ain't this, they say N-A-S, right? Like N-A-S is what they say, um, you know, so... having that word attached to what you were going to call your man is going to be easy for you to flip that and talk about him or or uh talk bad about him just because you already call him something that's not becoming they have money they tend to be have that independent attitude you feel me like I, yeah, don't, I, I, get, I don't. I don't need you. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, I, I can't be in a relationship. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't need you. I got so, my own stuff on. So that's why I feel like. Men don't care about that no more. So they'll take somebody that's less educated, less money because I feel like you shouldn't mm, want that though. You should want somebody. Yeah, that but you can't tell. Really you can't tell men what they should want. I feel like you shouldn't want that though. That's what they want though. You don't see these men all sitting here saying the same exact thing. <laughs> that's what they're saying. Like we don't want the same thing. Why, 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 you, why would you want somebody that doesn't want something because for we themselves? Don't, we don't hope. Because God forbid anything happen to you tomorrow. What is she going to do? Leaving. You 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 Can said I you said you said a, a man's job is to provide, right? Mm-hmm. But when he's hearing back that I don't need you for nothing, you just took away the one thing you said he was there to do. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's one of the things. Right. You but said like I, that's what I said. It depends on your relationship. Because if when I'm in a relationship with somebody that's provided, I'm not saying that to you. You talking about you keep, Trust me, you, keep talking about anecdotal, <laughs> you keep talking about anecdotal. You keep talking about anecdotal. You keep talking about anecdotal experience. You may not be saying um, you may not be saying that to him, but maybe to your homegirls that's sitting at the table with you, you're gonna turn around and say stuff like that. To, I don't even know why he acting like that because I don't even need him. You know, it's, it's the mentality that needs to change. But I really, really, really want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. So make sure you guys drop your comments. If you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And again, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you.